if you're new to bow hunting or even have just a few years of experience, it can be a daunting task picking out your equipment. And one of the things I've found over the years that people ask me a lot is, how heavy of a setup should I be shooting? Not just your bow poundage, but your arrow. You know, that's one of the most interesting things I find in bow hunting today. It seems like it's shrouded in secrecy. You know, how much weight should this arrow be? And how much kinetic energy is it producing? And how fast is it going? Everybody gets hung up on speed. I'm here to tell you right now, you do not need a lot of kinetic energy to kill a deer while whitetail hunting. The minimum, 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy, and you don't need much draw weight to do that. With this setup that I'm shooting, I'm producing about 78 pounds, foot-pounds of kinetic energy. So let's start with the arrow. The arrow is everything when it comes to accuracy. Yes, these bows are high speed and they deliver great kinetic energy, but it's that arrow that's the driving force. That's what's going to make or break your difference when you're bow hunting. Now I'm shooting FMJs. The thing about these arrows is they are skinny, which allows for less wind resistance going down range. The veins, these bully veins, are short little two-inch veins, another thing that adds to accuracy. And I can put a, a expandable broadhead on there like a sever, and I'm gonna be able to shoot a lot farther than I would as opposed to the old days when I had a traditional style broadhead with blades that almost acted like wings. But one of the questions I often get from people is, how much weight should I be shooting on my arrow? And what I always say is if you get close to 400 grains, that's gonna push a lot of kinetic energy and it's gonna result in bone breaking performance and also a lot of pass throughs, especially with those expandable broadheads. Now, 25 foot pounds is the low end of the scale. You get to 50 foot pounds of kinetic energy. Now we're talking 30 yards, easy shot, broadside, slightly quartering away, plenty enough energy to kill a white tail. My personal setup, I'm only shooting 55 pounds on this Matthews VXR, but I have about a 440 to 450 grain arrow. So that's producing a well over 70 foot pounds of kinetic energy. That's good for elk or moose. Now guys that really get extreme with it, they can be pushing 90 foot pounds of kinetic energy and more. So you're gonna say, well, I would want more kinetic energy. Why, why wouldn't I want less? Why would I want less? More kinetic energy is gonna help you because that means you're shooting a lot faster speeds. And with faster speeds, that means you can shoot farther distances. Farther distances means that first pin might take you, instead of 25 yards, might take you 30, 35 yards, even 40 yards for guys who are really blazing fast. I don't need that because I know bow hunting is a short range proposition. For me, it's gonna be way under 40 yards, usually under 30 yards. And with a setup like this, you're gonna be gold.